हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप वन इम्पॉर्टेंट डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल विच इन्वॉल्व्स एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू फंक्शन राइट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट सो हियर वी हैव टू इंटीग्रेट मॉड ऑफ एक्स क्यूब माइनस एक्स फ्रॉम माइनस वन टू टू राइट सो लेट अस कॉल दिस इंटीग्रल एज आई राइट नाउ लेट अस टेक f of x is equal to x cube minus x, right? And uh, in order to find out the uh, critical points, uh, let us solve the equation f of x is equal to uh, zero, right? So when f of x is equal to zero, then x cube minus x is equal to zero, and uh, uh, taking x common, here we have x square minus one equal to zero. So we have x minus one, x plus one is equal to zero. So we have x equal to zero, x equal to one, and x equal to minus one, right? So here we have uh, uh, three uh, critical points: uh, zero, one, and minus one, right? So now uh, we can write f of x as uh, x times x minus one, uh, x plus one. right okay so now uh, as per the definition of uh, absolute value function uh, f of x uh, that is uh, uh, mod of f of x which is uh, mod of x cube minus x is equal to uh, positive x cube minus x whenever x cube minus x is greater than or equal to 0 right and uh, mod of x cube minus x is equal to negative of x cube minus x whenever x cube minus x is less than 0 right okay so now uh, here uh, we have uh, uh, these points x equal to 0 1 and minus 1 and uh, here we have minus 1 then we have 0 uh, uh, then we have 1 and then we have 2 right because here uh, we have uh, uh, to integrate uh, this function from minus 1 to 2 so this is the upper limit right and this is the lower limit now we have to decide uh, the sign of uh, uh, f of x in these intervals right so here uh, we have uh, three intervals uh, one is from 1 to 2 other is from 0 to 1 and uh, uh, the third one is from minus 1 to 0 right so uh, to decide the sign of f of x uh, let us uh, uh, prepare a table so now uh, here we have uh, three intervals One comma two, zero comma one, and minus one comma zero, right? And uh, I denotes the interval. And uh, uh, here we have the three factors x, x minus one, and x plus one, right? Okay. So now uh, when uh, x lies between one comma two, right? so when x lies between uh, 1 comma 2 then uh, x is obviously positive x minus uh, 1 is obviously positive because x is uh, greater than uh, 1 and x plus 1 is obviously positive right so uh, the product of these three uh, signs is positive right and when x lies between 0 and 1 Uh, then uh, obviously uh, x is positive because uh, between zero and one we have all positive numbers, and uh, x minus one has a negative sign, right? Because uh, all the numbers which lies between zero and one are less than one, so x minus one is negative, and x plus one is obviously positive, and the product of these three terms. is uh, uh, negative uh, plus 
multiplied by minus is minus then minus multiplied by plus is minus right and when x lies between minus 1 and 0 then uh, x is obviously negative and x minus 1 is again negative because uh, x is negative so negative minus 1 gives us negative and uh, minus uh, uh, when x lies between minus 1 and 0 then obviously x plus 1 is positive right then the product of these three signs is positive right we can also decide the sign the overall sign by taking uh, particular values of x in these three intervals right for example if we take this interval that is minus 1 to 0 and if i take any value x equal to say uh, minus half then uh, the product of x times x minus 1 x plus 1 gives us minus half times minus half minus 1 minus half plus 1 and here we have minus half here we have minus 3 over 2 and here we have half so uh, minus multiplied by minus is positive so here we have the sign positive right so likewise we can decide the uh, sign by taking particular example in the uh, particular uh, interval right now viewers uh, there is one more method other than this method uh, to decide the sign right see here uh, f of x is equal to uh, x times x minus 1 x plus 1 so x can be written as x minus 0 here we have x minus 1 and here we have x plus 1 right and here we have the factor 1 right so here uh, we see that uh, 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 this expression is uh, similar to k times x minus alpha x minus beta and x minus gamma right where uh, alpha is uh, 0 beta is 1 and gamma is minus 1 so whenever f of x is uh, written like this then uh, uh, we can start uh, with the positive sign over here and then alternatively uh, negative and positive so uh, in this interval uh, f of x uh, has positive sign then we have negative sign and then we have positive sign right so plus minus plus uh, which is same as this right okay so now uh, we can uh, write uh, this integral i as a sum of uh, three integrals i1 i2 and i3 right so i1 is from minus 1 to uh, 0 and uh, i2 is from 0 to 1 and i3 is from 1 to right and here we have mod of x cube minus x dx here we have mod of x cube minus x dx and here we have mod of x cube minus x dx right so now we have to evaluate these three integrals right so here uh, uh, we have just seen that uh, the sign of mod of x cube minus x in the interval minus 1 comma 0 is positive so we can now write minus 1 to 0 plus x cube minus x dx right and when x lies between 0 and 1 then uh, we have negative sign here so mod of x cube minus x has negative sign so here we have uh, minus x cube minus x dx and when x lies between 1 and 2 then mod of x cube minus x is uh, having positive sign so here we have plus uh, x cube minus x dx right okay so now uh, 
we can easily uh, solve these three integrals so now i1 is from minus 1 to 0 x cube minus x so here we have uh, the integral of x cube is x4 over 4 and integral of x is x square over 2 and the limits of integration are from minus 1 to 0 and we can substitute the limits and we'll take the difference so now when we take x equal to 0 so this whole term gets 0 and we have minus and if we take x equal to minus 1 over here and here then we have minus 1 raised to 4 is 1 over uh, 4 then here we have minus half right okay so now uh, this is uh, uh, minus 4 plus half and uh, this is 4 minus 1 plus 2 and this is 1 over 4 right and now uh, let us calculate the second integral so now uh, i2 is from 0 to 1 minus x cube plus x dx and here we have uh, integral of x cube is uh, x raised to 4 over 4 plus x square over 2 and the limits of integration are from 0 to 1 now uh, taking x equal to 1 here we have 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 and uh, uh, if we take 0 then this whole term gets 0 and now uh, we have 4 here minus 1 plus 2 and again we'll have 1 over 4 right so the value of uh, i2 is 1 over uh, 4 now let us calculate the value of uh, i3 now i3 is 1 to 2 x cube minus x dx so here we have x raised to 4 over 4 minus x square over 2 and 1 to 2 and taking x equal to 2, 2 raised to 4 is 16 over 4 minus 2 square is 4 over 2 and minus uh, when x is 1 we have 1 over 4 minus half right so now this is uh, uh, 4 4 is a 16 this is 4 minus uh, 2 and uh, here we have 4 and 1 minus uh, 2 so this is uh, uh, 2 minus here we have minus 1 over 4 and this is 2 plus 1 over 4 that is uh, 4 to the 8 plus 1 uh, 9 over 4 right so the value of uh, i3 is uh, 9 over 4 right so now uh, the overall value of i is equal to the sum of these three integrals so we have 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 9 over 4 and that is 1 plus 1 plus 9 over 4 that is 11 over 4 right so viewers uh, the value of this integral is equal to 11 over 4 so this is how we solve this integral